Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our demo. Today, I will give you a live, live demo about uh, auto scaling over OpenStack hybrid cloud. Uh, first of all, I will give you a short introduction to our company. Uh, we are EasyStack, which is the name of our company and also the name of our product. We are the leading OpenStack service provider for China and Asia. In June of the release, uh, we have contributed a lot, and uh, we are the number one, uh, number two, sorry, number two contributor from China, and uh, we are we have been constantly contributing to the community uh, until now and uh, and for the future. Uh, right now, we are focusing on OpenStack services and solutions. We provide uh, various solutions to our customers and uh, consulting and the product deployment services to our customers. Uh, this is an overview of our solutions. The EasyStack, uh, the us platform, which is uh, based on OpenStack, we have uh, software defined uh, computing, networking, and uh, storage. And on top of that, we have uh, billing solutions, monitoring, and a ruler, which is a deployment tool uh, to, deploy, to quickly deploy our solutions and product to, uh, to our customers. Uh, the Easy Stack connector, which is uh, my focus today, uh, is a connector between our private OpenStack uh, network to the public cloud. It provides the uh, secure uh, VPN, VPN channel uh, between OpenStack network and the public cloud. So for today's demo, the hybrid cloud auto-scaling, uh, our solution uses the following key technologies. First of all, first is a VPC-based overlay. It, it, it provides a secure channel between OpenStack network and uh, public cloud network, your own tenant. Also, we have a distributed virtual, virtual router, uh, which uh, reduces the uh, bottleneck of a Neutron L3 router. Uh, the compute node can uh, handle the north-south flow so we don't have the bottleneck. IP on router, which is also critical because you don't have a lot of uh, public IPs. If you can uh, allocate the IP address to your router, then you can do some port forwarding from your router to your uh, subnet, right? The next one is a hybrid connector. This is uh, the core of our solution. Uh, it can dynamically create the, the secure VPN channel between your OpenStack tenant and, and your VPC or your tenant network in the public cloud. Our auto-scaling uh, in this demo is based on HIT, but uh, you can also use other solutions to work with our hybrid connector. Also, from our dashboard, you can, uh, you can see the layout of both your private network and your network in the public cloud. Uh, now let's see the architecture of this demo. Uh, this is a very uh, simple scenario but, uh, for this demo, but uh, we, the solution also, uh, you can have other scenarios supported on our solution. In this demo, I have uh, three kind of virtual machines. The HA proxy for load balancing the, 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 work f the flows of the, the traffic of the WordPress. The WordPress uses MySQL DB on the DB virtual machine. 
uh, at the first, all of the VMs are in our private OpenStack cloud. When the load becomes high, we can auto-scale the WordPress VM to the public cloud tenant, so the HA proxy will load the balance between the WordPress in the public cloud and also in our OpenStack cloud. The WordPress in the public cloud also use a MySQL DB in private cloud. Uh, you, you can do the same for the DB clustering, such as uh, auto-scaling the DB VMs also to the public cloud. The Easy Stack connector here provides a secure channel between the public cloud and uh, the OpenStack private cloud open, uh, VPC. And it's uh, uh, very secure because from the public uh, network, you can't access the WordPress, WordPress VMs. With the introduction of this uh, architecture, I will show you the live demo. Uh, this is uh, our dashboard, the, the dashboard for EasyStack. And uh, to enable the hybrid capabilities for each, uh, excuse me. Okay. Please give me a second. I'm sorry for the issues. To enable the hybrid cloud for each tenant, uh, you, the admin have to manually do this because uh, when you enable the hybrid, either stack connector will allocate some uh, resource, resources to set up the channel for the tenant network. And uh, sometimes you may not want all the tenants uh, have the capabilities of hybrid cloud. So we, we have these settings here. After you do this for the project, the project admin can set up his own public cloud accounts and credentials from his own tenant here. I take the AWS public cloud for the, for the example and to save some time, I already set up the account. So in this project, you can, we can freely uh, scale our workloads to AWS. Also, to save some time, I already use HIT to uh, create the stack of our, our workloads. Three VMs now the, for the HA proxy, WordPress and DB. Also, I set up the uh, internet access here. You can see that I can access my WordPress application here. Right now, right now, for instance, if uh, uh, we have high load of the uh, WordPress from users, then how, how can we uh, scale the WordPress VMs to the AWS cloud? We use uh, the heat alarm to, to do this, to trigger the actions uh, to scale the workloads. Uh, but I don't have the load now, right? Uh, there isn't uh, many people accessing my WordPress now, but I have uh, my colleague to, uh, who has a simulator to, to increase the load to my work, uh, WordPress and uh, trigger the alarm, which will uh, scale my workload. 
Uh, right now, I ask my colleague to do this. Uh, he will uh, notify me when the workload is active, and we can see, we can go back to the to the network topology. As I mentioned that you, you can have a unified layout of both the private cloud and uh, the network in the uh, private cloud network and uh, your tenant network in the public cloud. We have slow network connections here. Sorry. Okay, at the same time, uh, waiting for this page to load, we can go to the WordPress and see this again, refresh this page. It's also working. But uh, you, you don't know if my AWS VM is working, right? Uh, to prove this, then we can shut down my previous uh, WordPress in the OpenStack Cloud and leave only the VMs in the AWS and I'll go back to this WordPress to see if it, it will work. Right now, I will shut down my WordPress in OpenStack. It's loading. Anyway, I think it's shut down now, and we go back to WordPress and uh, refresh this page. Uh, if you may know that the network connection in China to access AWS is very slow, so it may take a, a minute to load this page. OK, this page is uh, completely loaded. And uh, right now, only the WordPress in AWS is active. So I, I already show you that uh, our scaling is working, all right? Okay. It's too slow here, so. OK, it shows up. You can see the AWS VMs from, from here. Uh, it's triggered by uh, my, my colleague. And uh, right now, this WordPress in my OpenStack Cloud is dead. Only these VMs is working. Also, you can see the networks here. The first one is a private network in OpenStack. Uh, the, the third one is also the private network in OpenStack. I, I configured that this tenant could uh, connect both of these private networks to AWS with, uh, with secure VPN channel. The second, the second network is the network from uh, AWS. 
and all these AWS VMs are connected to these networks. So you have a unified uh, a view to your VPCs, both in private and cloud, cloud, public cloud. Also notice this router. This router uh, is for the tenant, and uh, you can create freely and uh, allocate a floating IP to this router. We also have the scheduling uh, me mechanism to schedule the router to compute node, and have, it has active standby, high availability. If one router is, uh, if the router is dead on the computer, on the compute node, the the router will be rescheduled. Uh, the standby standing by router will uh, will effect take effect. Okay, I think this is uh, all the demo uh, for the la for the hybrid cloud. Uh, if you have uh, some question, I have uh, 50 seconds. I can take one question. Okay, if you want to know more about our solutions, you can go to our booth right. Uh, behind this theater at E15. Thank you. <laughs>